Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss Law, problem number 19, Hilarious Resnick Walker. Uh, let me read out the question. Uh, space vehicles travel through Earth's radiation belts can uh, intercept a significant number of electrons. The resulting charge build up can damage electronic components and disrupt operations. Suppose a spherical metallic sa metal satellite 1.3 meter in diameter accumulates 2.4 micro coulomb of uh, charge in one orbital revolution. So in one complete revolution, this satellite is uh, accumulating a charge of 2.4 micro coulomb, obviously on its surface. Find the resulting surface charge density, so very simple. Calculate the magnitude of the electric field just outside uh, the surface of the uh, of the satellite uh, due to the surface charge. Okay, so uh, there is some uh, spherical metallic surface, uh, the satellite with a radius of 0.65 meters, diameter is given, so radius is half of that and it accumulates a charge in one complete revolution, it accumulates a charge of 2.4 micro coulomb. So we have to find out uh, charge density, so very simple. If we find uh, part A, surface charge density, sigma, is total charge divided by area. Okay. So, this is total charge divided by area is 4 pi r square. This is sphere. So, right, uh, uh, this surface area is 4 pi r square. Now, let's substitute the values. Q is equal to 2.4 micro coulomb divided by 4 into pi is 3.14 and then R is 0 0.65, 0 0.65 with the square. So we can write it like this, 2.4 into micro is 10 to the power minus 6, so it becomes coulombs, divided by 4 into 3.14 into 0 0.65 square. Now this I have already calculated, it comes out to be sigma is equal to 4.5, 4.5 into 10 to the power minus 7 coulomb per meter square okay coulomb per meter square 4.5 into 10 to the power minus 7 coulomb per meter square okay now uh, we have to find out the electric field now the second part tells us to find out electric field just outside the surface now remember this is a metallic surface and we had to find out electric field just outside the metallic surface and you must be aware of the field out just outside the metallic surface is sigma divided by epsilon 0. Is sigma divided by epsilon 0. Let's say uh, we have a metallic body like this, okay, whatever the shape, size, doesn't matter. It has some charge here. Now remember, in case of metal, charge lies only on the surfaces, okay, charge lies only on the surfaces, with charge density sigma, with charge density sigma. So if I consider, if I consider a Gaussian surface here, let's suppose a cylindrical Gaussian surface with base area A, now uh, this part of the surface is very close to the metallic surface. Okay, this part of the top of the Gaussian cylinder is very close to the metallic surface because we have to find our field very close to the metallic surface. Okay, and regarding the field, regarding the electric field due to a metallic uh, surface, you must know that is always perpendicular to the surface. It's always perpendicular to the surface. Then when it when the field lines move on, they may uh, uh, spread out, but at the surface they are perpendicular to the surface okay this is the property of the metals so if the field lines are like this there is no flux through these curved surfaces of the cylinder there is no flux on this side there is no field here so there is no flux flux will be only through the top surface with an area of a so uh, flux which is integration of e dot da which in this case is simply E into A. Field is uniform here in this small part. It's a very small part, so field is uniform. And field lines are going through it normally, so it's simply E into A. And that flux we know from Gauss law is Q enclosed divided by epsilon zero. 
Okay, Q enclosed divided by epsilon 0. So this implies E into A is equal. Now Q enclosed is sigma into A. Sigma being the surface charge density and A is the base area or area of the top. And that is same as area of this part of the surface lying inside the uh, Gaussian cylinder. So divided by epsilon 0, A and A cancels out. So E is equal to sigma divided by epsilon 0. Okay, Sigma divided by epsilon 0. There is another relation uh, field due to a charge sheet, a non-conducting charge sheet, which is sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. So you should not mix the two. Okay, You should not mix the two. So we already have this uh, equation, relation for the field, sigma divided by epsilon 0. Sigma we already have calculated 4.5 into 10 to the power minus 7. So this is 4.5 into 10 to the power minus 7. Divide by epsilon 0 is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12. Both are in SI units. So this comes out to be, I already calculated it. It comes out to be 5.1, 5.1 into 10 to the power 4. Since units used were SI, uh, in SI system, so unit here will be Newton per coulomb or volt per meter. So 5.1 into 10 to the power 4. A newton per coulomb. That'll do for this session.